Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Jester, and today we are doing a timed cooking challenge with these three wonderful chefs to my right right here. We have Chef Zach, Chef Chris, and Chef James in the building. So, today boys, you're gonna be making me three meals. For each meal, it is gonna be a time challenge. The first meal, you only get one minute to make. The second one, 10 minutes. And the third one, 30 minutes. If you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We are on to the road to four million. Hit that subscribe button. All right, boys, I'm gonna give you like 30 seconds to think about what you wanna do for the one minute one, and then I'll start the timer. Simple as that, you make me a snack, whatever you want. It's not about thinking, man. It's gonna take a minute to unpackage that cheese over there. It's 30 seconds. It's gonna be tough. Boys, I will be starting the timer in 15 seconds. I hope you have an idea on what to make me. Oh god, I feel like you guys are about to lurch at your food really quickly. Okay. Just take the remains. Five, four, three, two, one, go. The timer is off. I'm honestly just expecting some nice cheese and crackers with only one minute of time. Everyone's going quick. The packaging looking nice. Boys, the food must be plated on a plate when the timer rings or it does not count and you are already halfway there. 25 seconds left. 20 seconds left. Oh my god, where did she go? Oh, here's her. Somebody took the pepperoni? Oh my god. Oh, that was quick. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Hands off your plates, ladies and gentlemen, it is over. Everyone, please bring me your meals. I'm actually impressed I was able to do all this in 60 seconds. Meals don't really need much explaining, but James, I'm gonna try yours first. What is this um, seasoning? Oregano. Oregano. Solid, enjoyable snack. I would enjoy this as a snack. That was good. Thank you. Chris. Talk to me. Oh, that right there is a Ritz Swiss pepperoni sandwich. I like the little pepperoni, a little excited. Oh yeah, great bite. This was actually busting, bro. The pepperoni is slapping. That was good. Zach, what is this? It is a pepperoni pizza quickadilla. So this is a pepperoni pizza? Quickadilla. You can just roll it. It's a roll up? Yeah, you just roll it and then, yeah, there's two of them. Like, this is fun. It's like interactive food. I always love a little experience with my my meal. Just like this. <laughs> right down the middle. It reminds me of like um, a Lunchable. But the pizza Lunchables did slap. They were very nostalgic. I'm gonna be going. First place, Chris. Second place, Zach. Third place, James. Good job, chefs. I am impressed. Now, without further ado, I think it is time for the next challenge. We are just going straight away. I am setting the timer. 10 minutes, boys. Good luck. Chris, you are in the lead. 10 minute timer starts now. Chris, is that the microwave? Well, I, I see you dancing. It must be the microwave. That is the microwave, baby. Yeah, that is the microwave. The happiest I ever see Chris in the kitchen is after he hits the start button on the microwave. Eight minutes left, Chef. Chris, the microwave sounds like it's exploding. That's a good thing. It's cooked. Are you making popcorn or what are you making? Because it sounds like it's popping. You know, some people like to call me Jack Harlow. Who has ever called you Jack Harlow? <laughs> Five minutes, 45 seconds. Oh, right off. Just right. What in the heavens is that, Chris? That does not look it. Don't worry about it. It's gonna Bro. taste it. Don't. It's gonna Don't. be a fall from grace from first with the look of that. I hope there's some pizzazz on there, because right now, I will feed that to Hump. I'm not gonna lie, but Humphrey does eat good though, so I don't know if I would feed him that, to be honest. What is this, turkey stir fry? What's going on right here? Lots of seasoning. Extremely focused, all right? Ooh, please tell me tacos are on the way. They might be. Ooh. Okay, now I'm excited. I love tacos. What do you need? Uh, nothing. Chefs, this better be good. Three and a half minutes are left. Does this have a name? Uh, not yet. Everyone is very, very focused in this kitchen right now. Make my taste buds go on a parade, please. Expecting some absolutely delicioso food. Must be better than the first round. 
ten times the time. What am I looking at? Fifty seconds left. Hey, little chicken talk. Is that A1 steak sauce? Don't tell me that's A1. It must be plated, and there is 15 seconds left, chefs. Must be plated, or it does not count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up! Hands up. Chef Chris, talk to me about this meal right here. So what you see is a delicate, positive. Positive, delicate? It's a positive, delicate dish, buttered rice with very good seasoning, mixed with a bit of, you know, ham. I don't know the vibes. You just... Am I supposed to use this as a dip or is it sure? It's up to you, if you like a little kick in it. Let's try this bad boy. This is horrible, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> this is awful. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm loving it. That was dog shit. I'm gonna be honest, bro. That might be one of the worst things you've ever made. I don't know how, why you're eating it to make it seem like it's good, because it's not. You don't have to torture yourself. You already got last place for this round. It's okay. You can stop eating that. Chef James. Hey. Talk to me. The taco. All right. <laughs> we got two tacos, it looks like. So let's try this bad boy. Mm. This chicken is seasoned very nicely. One more bite. I like that the um, the taco shell has like a nice little flavor to it as well. I like that. Chef Zach, talk to me. Turkey fajitas. So I can eat it either way. Taco form or regular form? Yeah, I, I'd suggest taco form. I just like to, yeah, scoop it in there and then I just fold it and eat it. Wait, taco, taco. or fajita? Fajita. Taco. It's whatever you want it to be. The onions and peppers, Zach, it's a nice touch. Thank you. I enjoyed it. There was a little hint of kick to it, which is nice. It wasn't expected, but I am enjoying it. You're going to no longer have Chef in your name. This is last place. I came literally first. In the first round. It's a fall from grace. Now it is between Zach and James for first place. And, you know, I just had them both as taco form. And I have to say, I did like James's taco better. I think it's because he used chicken. I like chicken better. The seasoning was better. It was a great attempt. It was a very close one. James, you have won this round. All right, boys, it is time for the final round. This time you are gonna have 30 minutes to prepare me a meal. This is the most important round. I'm starting the timer right away. 30 minute timer, it starts right now. Let's go. I'll get that extra virgin. Nice little burger. I probably should have done that, like put it together first. But to be honest, I like where this is going. Zach, talk to me. What are you cooking up today? Steak, Oh my God, this sounds wonderful. That's gonna be hard to beat. Good steak, kind of undefeated. We got cheeseburger or something? What's going on? Let me make it. Let me make it, burger. It's gonna look strange. I don't know about this one. James, talk to me. A soup. A soup? Soup, okay. I don't know if anyone's ever made a soup on any of our cooking videos. It'll get a little wet. <laughs> Put it in the microwave, it'll be good as new. No, actually, I might do Cheese on that motherfucker. That infusion is in He's gonna really love that. What kind of soup are you making? Uh, I don't know yet. French onion? I'm gonna try. Ooh, if Jane makes me a nice French onion soup, I'm sorry, I'm getting in the way. I'm gonna be pretty happy. It's a sweet Hawaiian steak. Ooh, I don't think I've ever had one of those. It's one of your classics. Yes. Is it a family recipe? It is not. Future family recipe. Future family recipe. Okay. Is this a family recipe, Chris? It's, it's falling apart. No, it's fine. <laughs> it means it's cooked. How about the cheese that hold it together? I honestly thought so too, but this, it was hating over here. Well, you had the middle plate on. Oh my God. James, how's it tasting? Not good. Oh no, that is not a good sign.
Boys, we are halfway there. 15 minutes left. Hope your food's starting to look tasty, delicious. My stomach's rumbling. What's going on, Jay? Can't figure out what's wrong. Tastes better, but I can't figure out like what. Getting toasty in here. It's just not good at all. Having some soup trouble? Yeah, it tastes like shit. Why is that? You oh, said it tastes yeah. like shit. Do you need some uh, Master Chef advice? No, I don't want it. Don't want my advice? You know, maybe it needs some more salt. No, it doesn't need more salt. Well, I smell your exact. Nice barbecue pineapple vibe going on. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Interesting. You're gonna love it. Chef, there's nine and a half minutes left. Oh, don't look at it, Trav. It doesn't, doesn't look, look good. It doesn't even have the right color. It's a pretty good crunch, but it could be crunchy. Five minutes left. Miss Molly, it's already been 28 minutes. Y'all have two minutes left. The food must be plated and ready to go as well. It's crunch time right now. This is where it matters. Burning his fingers. Brown. I don't know. On your face. Oh. Got third degree burn to cook me my meal. That's what I like to see. One minute, 21 seconds. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands in the air, chefs. Everyone is done. Fantastic job. I'm so excited to try these. All right, Zach, talk to me. All right, so you love Hawaii, right? I do. I we love have Hawaii. a Hawaiian inspired steak dish. We have some fry rye, pineapple fry rye in the middle. Never had that. And we have some sweet barbecue teriyaki steak on the outside. Right. And there's a couple of grilled pineapples there too. I'm very excited. The smell test, it passes it for sure. Let's try this. I like that you grilled the pineapple. It makes it hit very nice. The steak cooked well, tastes very good. Let me try this fried rice. Make sure I get a pineapple in there. Holy but Jesus Christ, this is fucking hot. Now my chest is hot because I swallowed it too fast. Blow on it, there you go, there you go. Yeah. Okay, good. Let me get another piece of the steak alone this time. Delicious. Chef James, talk to me. I made a soup. Give me some details. Talk about the soup. I, I'm not happy with the soup, but I, maybe you will be. What type of soup am I eating? Well, it didn't come out. I can't disrespect what it was attempted to be. Was, were these croutons supposed to be soggy? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I love, ooh! Don't disrespect this soup. Look at that cheese. The cheese is attacking. The cheese bite was good. Let me try the broth on its own. I'm not feeling the broth too heavy, but I love this like melted cheese thing that you got going on. Like this is beautiful. Damn, you gotta give yourself some credit. Well, I didn't. I didn't try it with the cheese. I only had the broth. The cheese is good. So is the bread special? A little garlic bread. A little garlic bread on the low key. You know, you'll be proud of your garlic bread, James. There's nothing to be ashamed of. That one's not bad, though. Oh, good. That's a salty. Garlic bread though. Now Chris, talk to me. That, my friend, is the burger of dreams. It is the best burger. Sloppy Joe. It, listen, it looks a little sloppy, but goddamn, 
We like our toffee slop. True. Now, have you ever ordered a Happy Meal? This looks like a sad meal. It looks deflated. It's because it's on a paper plate. I ran out of like good plates. What's a car? You always gotta see what's under the hood. No pickles. I feel like the cheese is kind of. No it's toppings it's, or anything. It, everything is infused in the bird. Oh, the like, toppings are already in the meat. Everything, the toppings, the flavors are all in the bird. Has a nice crunch to it. I don't taste any of the toppings. You gotta wait for it. Oh, look at that. Mm. You just love to see that. Bro, why is it hot though? It's it's a hot food. I'm sorry I have to give it third again. You did a fantastic job in the first round, but it's going to third. James, I like the idea of doing a soup. This is very creative. You know, it's not easy to do a soup, and that is exactly what happened. It is not easy to do a soup. It wasn't bad. It, I really liked it with the cheese, but barbecue sauce and pineapples, it really was hitting home for me. I really like this one. So, Zach, first place in the 30-minute round. You all won a round, chefs. Thank you so much. Well, I think I've elevated my cooking skills today. I was under pressure. I only you know, saw my, you microwave once. My forte is the microwave, so I really try to go above and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please check out two other videos popping up on the screen right now. Shout out to my chefs for cooking me an amazing lunch. I'm about to finish this bad boy right now. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. What about mine? No.